polynomials that can be factored using the perfect square trinomial. Yan na pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at matuto. Alright, hi there everyone! Welcome sa lesson natin for today. So ngayon, pag-uusapan naman natin yung pangatlong factoring method na gagamitin natin. And this is about the perfect square trinomial. So let's start. So perfect square trinomial, meron tayong dalawang form dito na susundin. O dalawang pattern na susundin. Ayan. So a squared plus 2ab plus b squared ang magiging sagot natin dyan ay etong a plus b squared. Next, etong pangalawang form. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal naman doon sa a minus b squared. So, ang magiging sagot natin, lagi siyang naka-squared. Isang parenthesis na naka-squared. And, saan na kukuha yung operation? Sa middle term. So, kung plus ang middle term, plus dapat ang sagot. Kung minus ang middle term, minus dapat ang sagot. And same as common monomial tapos difference of two squares, perfect square trinomial din ay merong conditions, of course. So, paano natin malalaman kung ang given, kung kunwari itong mga given na to, ay factorable ng perfect square trinomial? Unang-una. Of course, dapat three terms. Kasi trinomial eh. So, dapat three terms ang given natin. So, kapag dalawa, apat, so hindi yan pwede ng perfect square trinomial. Next, number two. The first and last term ay per are perfect square. So, ito daw yung una, saka yung dulo perfect square. So, dito obviously perfect square siya. Kasi yung exponent nito ay uh, even numbers or naka-squared. So, perfect square yan kasi naka-squared nga. Tapos, aside from that, idagdag ko na din, kung perfect square ang first and last, dapat pareho siyang positive. So, hindi dapat magiging negative yung last term. Tandaan yun, hindi dapat magiging negative ang last term, saka ang first term. Ganun. Then, ang last, eto, medyo mahaba, tapos, baka maguluhan kayo kung paano ito ginagawa. So, as we go, along with our discussion, I'll discuss kung paano ito gagawin. Pero, babasahin ko na din. Twice the product of the square root of first and last term is equal to the middle term. Twice the product, eto yun. Twice the product ng square root of first and last term. Yung 2ab. Tapos negative 2ab. So, sige, explain ko yan kapag may example na tayo. Ayan. So, let's have our first example. x squared plus 6x plus 9. So, how do we deal with perfect square trinomial? First thing you have to do. Unang-una, gawin nga natin. Or check natin yung conditions. Una, trinomial ba yan? Three terms ba? 1, 2, 3. So, check. Pangalawa, ang first and last term ba ay perfect square? Okay naman to kasi naka-squared even numbers ang even number ang exponent. Tapos ang 9 naman, that's 3 times 3. Then, positive ba ang first and last? Yes. Positive to, positive din yung 9. So, check tayo sa second condition. Pangatlo, eto, uh, gagawin talaga to mentally, pero gagawin natin to dito. Papakita ko kung paano siya gagawin. So, Twice daw ng square root ng x squared sa kanang 9 ay magiging uh, 6x dapat. So, gawin muna natin yung step by step. Ayan. So, ang step 1 dito, very simple lang din. Kagaya siya ng difference of two squares. Ang step number 1 dito, get the square root of the first and last. First term, which is x squared, and last term, which is 9. So, square root of x squared and square root of 9. Paano nga kukunin ang square root ng variable? I-divide mo lang ito sa 2. Lagi. Kung ano, yung, kung ano yung exponent na meron, divide mo lang lagi sa 2. So, 2 divided by 2, that's 1. X raised to 1 is just x. So, ang square root ng 9, since 3 times 3 yan, so, ang square root niyan ngayon ay 3. Ayan. Now, so, sabi dun sa third condition natin. So, we are not yet sure kung perfect square ba yan kasi hindi pa nga natin alam 
yung third condition natin kung nasatisfy niya ba. So, sabi doon, ato ang ibig sabihin ng third condition. Yung x, saka yung 3, kapag daw multiply natin. So, 3 times x, that's 3x. Tapos, sisingitan mo ng times to lagi. Kasi dalawang beses daw kalaki nitong 3x, dapat lalabas si 6x. Ayan. Dapat magiging result ay 6x. So, let's do that. 3x times 2, 6x. Ayan. So, therefore, perfect square trinomial nga talaga itong given natin. Kung hindi ito naging 6x, tigilan mo na ang pagsasagot. Ibig sabihin, hindi ito perfect square trinomial. Pero kung naging 6x yan, same as our middle term, ibig sabihin perfect square trinomial na ito. And, kapag perfect square trinomial, ano nga ulit ang form ng sagot? Isang parenthesis na naka-squared. Tama ba? Isang parenthesis na naka-squared. Tapos yung operation sa loob, nakadepende sa middle term. So, paano yan? So, ibig sabihin dito sa given natin, ganito yung skeleton. Tama? Isang parenthesis na ka-squared, paano ko nalamang plus? Kasi plus si middle term. Kung minus si middle term, minus din dapat ang skeleton natin dito. Ayan. So, ganito ang form niyan. So, naka-plus, tapos naka-squared. Kasi nga, ang middle term natin ay plus. Anong ilalagay sa loob? Ito na. Yung naging square root natin. Parang difference of two squares lang din. So, itong nasa square root natin, ilalagay mo doon. So, x mauuna, tapos 3, yung susunod. Ayan, x and 3. And that is now the final answer. x plus 3 squared. As simple as that. Ayan. Oops, nakalimutan natin. So, again, ganun nga pala. Bago tayo mag-proceed sa perfect square trinomial, check natin kung factorable ba siya ng common monomial factoring. So, ito kasi, may dalawang x pero walang x yung dulo so wala siya. Tapos 1 na naman dito. 1, 6, and 9. Wala na namang GCF yun except sa 1. So, proceed tayo agad sa perfect square trinomial. So, check natin ulit. Lagi ha. Bago mag-proceed sa isang factoring method, check mo muna kung factorable siya ng common monomial factoring. Ayan. So, let's have example number 2. 4x squared minus 20xy plus 25y squared. Ayan. So, check natin yung conditions. Yung first two conditions. Una, trinomial ba? Yes. So, may first term, second term, last term, or third term. Pangalawa, perfect square ba ang first term? Saka ang last term. So, ang 4, 2 times 2, perfect square yan. Ang 25, 5 times 5, perfect square din. And, Ang exponent naman ng x sa kanang y dito ay squared. So, ibig sabihin, perfect square din. Kasi divisible yan pareho sa 2. Or even number yan, pareho. Ayan. So, yun muna. Yung dalawang mm, conditions. Then, as we go along, check natin yung pangatlo, which is yung twice the product of square root of the first term and the last term. Dapat makuha natin yung middle term. But before we proceed to that, check muna natin nga ulit kung common mo namin factoring to. Pwede. May x yung first term, may x yung pangalawa, pero walang x sa dulo. So, hindi pwedeng may GCF na x. May y yung second term, may y yung last term, pero walang y yung first term. So, hindi rin pwede na may y na GCF. Yung 4 sa kayong 20 sa kayong 25, wala siyang GCF. So, therefore, hindi pwede dito ang common monomial factory. Ibig sabihin, perfect square trinomial lang ang posible dito. Check natin. First step natin, square root of first and last. Square root of 4x squared, tapos square root of 25 by squared. So, ang 4, square root of 4 ay 2, tapos yung x squared, divide mo lang to sa 2, that's 2x na lang. Square root of 25, that's 5 times 5, so 5 na lang, and y raised to 1. Kasi din na natin sa 2, sa 2. Ayan. So, after this, check natin. Hindi pa tayo tapos sa third condition. Dapat daw itong dalawa, kapag minultiply, Multiply natin. 2 times 5 is 10. Tapos x times y, xy lang yon. That's 10xy. Tapos twice daw ng 10xy. So times 2 pa. So 10xy times 2, that's 20xy. Question? Ito ba ang middle term? Yes. 20xy is our middle term. So therefore, perfect square trinomial nga talaga itong given natin na expression. And paano yung skeleton ng sagot natin dito? So, since ang middle term ay negative, dapat, ito yung gamit natin. Yung parenthesis na naka-squared, 
tapos minus ang nasa gitna. Saan nga kinuha yung minus? Kasi minus po ang middle term. And anong, gag anong kukunin dito sa first and second term? Ito naging square root natin ng first and ng last term. So, 2x ang mauuna dito. 5y ang pangalawa doon. And that is now the final answer. Ayan. So, if you are ready, check, for our humor drill. So, let's get to it right now. Ayan. So, I'll give you two items to answer. Ayan. x squared minus 12x plus 36 and 64x squared plus 48xy plus 9y squared. I'll pause for a while and I'll get back to you to give the answer. But if you still need time, feel free to pause the video. Your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. So let's answer now. Number 1. x squared minus 12x plus 36. So check natin muna yung conditions. 3 terms ba? Check. 3 terms naman. Second condition, perfect square ba ang first term and last term? So perfect square to kasi ang exponent ay even. Then perfect square to kasi ang 6 times 6 ay 36. Then yung third condition, later na natin i-check. Before we proceed, Check natin kung may GCF muna. May dalawang x. May x ang first term, may x ang la second term, pero wala si last. So, walang GCF na x. Next, since 1 na naman ito, wala na yung magiging GCF except sa 1. So, ibig sabihin, hindi ito pwede ng common monomial factoring. And ligtas na tayo, proceed tayo sa step number 1. So, square root ng first and ng last. So, square root ni x squared saka square root ni 36. So, another pala, kailangan plus yung dulo, tas plus yung unahan. Or positive pareho ang first and last. So, x squared, divide mo lang sa 2 ang exponent. So, that is x na lang, x raised to 1. 36 is 6 times 6. So, ang square root nun ay 6 na lang. Ayan. Then, uh, check natin yung last condition. So, kapag multiply daw itong dalawa, tas times 2 pa, dapat 12 yung lalabas. 12x yung lalabas x times 6, 6x, times 2 pa, that is 12x. Ito ba ang middle term? Yes. Middle term ay 12x. So therefore, perfect square trinomial nga naman ang given natin. Paano yung skeleton ng sagot natin? So dapat yung sagot ay parenthesis na naka-squared. Pero anong operation sa loob? Since negative si middle term, minus dapat ang nasa loob. So ganyan. So, skeleton natin, minus sa loob, naka-squared ang parenthesis. Then, anong ilalagay? So, etong square root. So, ang mauuna ay x dito, pangalawa ay 36, ay, 6 dito. So, that's x minus 6 squared. And that is now the final answer. Next number 2, 64x squared plus 48xy plus 9y squared. Uh, check natin. Kung yung conditions ay nasatisfy. Tatlong terms ba? 1, 2, and 3. So, check. Perfect square ba ang first and last? So, 64 ay 8 times 8. So, okay naman. Ang 9 ay 3 times 3. So, okay pa din. Perfect square pa din. So, ang exponent ni x dito ay raised to 2. So, even number naman. So, correct. Tapos, yung y squared naman, even number pa rin yung exponent. So, tama pa din. And positive pareho yung first term and last term. So, okay yon. And yung third condition, mamaya natin yun makikita. But before we proceed, common monomial muna, check natin. Sa variable muna, para mas madali. Lahat ba may x? Wala to. Although pareho yung dalawa meron, pero ito wala. So hindi yun pwede. Wala siyang GCF ngayon. Lahat ba may y? Yung una wala, pero yung dalawa meron. So hindi pa rin pwede. Kasi dapat kapag common, lahat meron. Then, 
may GCF ba ang 64, 48, saka ang 9? Wala. So therefore, ligtas tayo, walang common monomial factoring na gagawin dito. So let's proceed to step number 1. Pero hindi pa natin napoprove kung tama ba yung middle term. Last yun, last condition. Square root of first and last. So 64x squared and 9y squared. So 64, this is 8 times 8. So square root niyan ay 8 na lang. Tapos x na lang ang katabi niya. Kasi dinivide sa 2 yung square dito. So ito naman ay 3y. Kasi ang 9 times 9 ay 3. Kaya 3 na lang. Tapos yung y squared, i-divide mo lang sa 2 ang uh, exponent. So that's 3y. Ayan. And after that, check natin yung last condition natin. Kapag minultiply ko daw to, a times 3 ay 24, x times y ay xy. So, 24xy. Tapos, times 2 pa, ang magiging sagot dapat ay middle term. And in this case, naging sagot ay 48xy. So, therefore, perfect square nga itong given natin. O, kapag na-prove mo na, nakuha mo na yung tatlong conditions na dapat isatisfy kapag perfect square trinomial, you can now go to our final answer. Ano mo lang skeleton nun? So, dapat nakarisa 2. Yung isang parenthesis. And, paano natin malalaman kung plus or minus kay middle term? So, since ang middle term dito ay plus, plus din yan. And, anong ilalagay sa loob? Eto. Kung ang nauna ay 8x, ilagay mo 8x. Pangalawa, 3y. And that will now be the final answer. As simple as that. Ayan. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope natuto ka ngayong araw. And pwede mo tong i-share sa mga classmates mo na kailangan ng katong lessons. And I want to see you in our next lesson. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and click on notification bell and share this to your friends who needs this lesson the most. And don't also forget that you deserve more. You can learn more. And you can be more. Hashtag you more PH. Bye bye. See you in our next video.